Hey guys, let's make salt dough sunflowers. For this, you're going to need two cups of flour, a half a cup of salt, three quarter cup of water. Add them all together in a bowl and then just go ahead and dive right in. It's actually gonna feel like you've used too much water until everything starts to combine and then it's gonna feel like really great dough. You're gonna be amazed how fun this is to work with. To make your flour, either use a styrofoam bowl or cover a bowl in plastic. Roll out small balls of clay and then squish them flat to about cookie or thinner thickness. Make sure to overlap them as you place them inside your bowl. The reason we're using styrofoam or plastic covered bowl is so they're easy to remove. You don't have to do anything to get this clay to attach. It's naturally very sticky, so it does work well together. The only problem is you will have to let this dry completely before popping it out of the bowl if you don't, it can start to fall apart. Also beware, it is dough, so there is a little bit of a rise to it. So your flour might end up being just a little bit bigger than you'd imagined. That big piece in the middle is gonna connect all the smaller pieces. Maybe use the end of a pencil or a skewer stick to add the seeds to your sunflower. I put my sunflower in front of a fan so that it could dry completely. To paint your flour, First, go ahead and take it either out of your bowl or whatever surface you had it in. I'm using acrylic paint, but temper paint would work, even a watercolor. I like to use acrylic paint because the coverage that it has completely on the flowers. So here I am just painting this whole ding dong flower, trying to make it look as fabulous as I can. I did want to share that any other kind of flower or shape that you make, as long as you put it inside of a smaller surface, like a bowl, it will take to that shape, which is great. But make sure you always put it inside the bowl and don't try to put it on the outside. The reason being is that as clay dries, it does start to shrink. Once you're finished painting with your acrylic paint, you can give your clay project a little bit of a coat of either Mod Podge or a varnish. And what that will do is that'll make your clay a lot stronger. It'll prevent it from falling apart and it also gives it a beautiful shine. What I like to do when I'm painting a clay project is I like to coat it with one color. For example, that kind of copper color in the middle and then the orange for the flowers. And then I like to set my clay project in front of a fan to let it dry once it's dry, then I like to do something called dry brushing. Dry brushing is when you use a brush that's not completely loaded with paint and just kind of brush it over the surface, which will really give your project a lot more depth. Again, to get this to dry completely, make sure you put it in front of a fan. I have noticed that the dough does take longer than average clay to dry. Have a great time with making your sunflowers.